damit herzlich willkommen in einer weiteren Folge von The Walking Dead Teil 15. Okay. Wir tun jetzt mit Kali reden. Talk to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. <coughs> you need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what will happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. You'll thank me later. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now, it doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to <coughs> run things, but it's just not working. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. Before I met you and before the plague, I killed somebody. Oh, so that's what... Yeah, that's it. It was a bad thing and there's no explaining it. Why are you telling me? Because I didn't want to keep it to myself anymore. Do you have any questions? You can go on back to your things. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay?
I've killed before. I mean, before the walkers showed up. You mean you were a murderer? You say that like it was my job. Well, what are the details? It was in a dispute. Would he have killed you? I don't know. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I was given Larry CPR with Lemmy. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> gotcha. Everything keeps changing. Hi, guys. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I killed someone. Different than Larry or the St. John's, different from everything. This was before the walkers. A citizen? Yes, I know. I, I didn't say anything when I met you because I was with the girl and, you know, I, I was worried. Look, we've all done gnarly shit now, but what? You were some kind of killer? It's not like that. Is Duck safe around you? Of course. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. I appreciate it, though. Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Hey, Ben, I need to tell you something. Sure, Lee. Is it about my watch? I'm trying to do a good job. You're doing fine. I'm, uh... I'm a convicted murderer. Whoa, seriously? Why would I joke about that? I don't know. Um, wow. You're a part of this group and you should know. I've never met a murderer before. Well, I hadn't, I mean. I know what you meant. <coughs> Thanks for trusting me, man. I, uh, I... Ben, relax. Okay. just gave him ammo if we ever have to make any tough decisions when it comes to a head count. Ah, uh, well, don't worry. I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Well, don't you start now. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. I, uh, told Ben. You told Ben? Funny you picked him. No risk. I take it he didn't know what to do with the information. Not even a little. He's just happy I told him something. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later.
How's the drawing? Good. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come, we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. I'll talk to you later. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Fuck anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. A mystery! Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. Secrecy. Did you hear what I just said? I won't tell us so. The part about not helping? You can't help. I will live in the shadows. <sighs> you didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did, uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. How's the drawing? Good. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. 
I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. <coughs> Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. Hey. Find anything? I need to tell you something. Sure, go ahead. But if it's bad news, maybe save it. I killed someone before all of this. Shit. What? Dad said there was something about you. So you know. I didn't know what to know. Well, it's true, and I'm sorry. He treated you like shit, knew who you were, and you tried to save his life. The last thing you need to do is apologize. Thank you. You killed a guy. So what? I bet he was a dick. Well, it, it ruined my life. Good thing everyone else has got destroyed shortly thereafter, huh? Misery loves company. Hey. Find anything? I haven't found out anything Well, there's yet. nothing to find in here. Ask around. Jesus, investigate. Okay, okay. Do you ever want to leave here? I want to leave here when we have to. Not because of some fantasy of somewhere better. So, you think the coast is a pipe dream? Don't you? We're going to live on the water because we assume they can't swim? We're alive because we've stayed here. That's as far as the discussion needs to go. Are you worried about morale at all? The darker things get, the more we have to worry about people giving up. Tell me about it. I know you won't. I'm worried, but what can we do? I don't know. I'll be back. Nein! Falsch! Mann! I told Lily. You were right. She and Larry spoke, obviously. She was all right, though. Well, you're about all she's got left. Ich weiß jetzt nicht, was ich jetzt machen soll. Keine Ahnung. Ah, 
Ha, hier. I told you you couldn't help. I'm curious. You don't say. Maybe it's a sign. Okay, it no. could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Oops. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't...